What is a steamed sandwich? The search is on. looking into this years ago and was surprised to, to find, to begin with, that steam sandwiches are unusual to Knoxville because people, newcomers would often say, why, why in the world do they do that? And, and then I, I heard that a few other places did do it and then I, I found out that, that a place, there was a place in Florida that was advertising New York style steam sandwiches and, uh, and that apparently new, people, some people in New York did it at one time too. Uh, so I, uh, I, I honestly don't know who steamed the first sandwich ever. It, pro it probably wasn't someone in Knoxville, but, um, but it for some reason caught on here. It was the influence of Sam and Andy's. Uh, Sam and Andy's was just an icon here for a long time. They were right on a corner on Cumberland Avenue, and they were, it was a Greek family, the Kapitanopoulos family, who they became known as the Captain family. They, they changed their pronunciation spelling for America's thicker tongues. But they, they were just very, very influential. If there was an influential restaurant in Knoxville, it was Sam and Andy's. Sam and Andy's started in 1946. And around 1970, late 60s, 70s, we brought the steamed sandwiches to Knoxville. And it was an instant hit. It was the first of its kind. In the, in the South, and especially to Knoxville. So, so people, people just gathered to it and really, really enjoyed it, and it's taken off ever since. And the steamers have changed some, but as far as the products, cheese, and the process of making it, the exact same. You have to have a good, a great product to start out with to get going. You gotta have the right kind of bread that will, will take the steam, that will absorb it. The meat has to be sliced thin so that it's juicy and tender. Then you can top it off with your choice of cheese. And when the steam hits the meat and the cheese together, all the flavors emulsify. And there you have your legendary steam sandwich. We offer a variety, you know, we, we st we, same thing we started out with in the 70s. We have roast beef, turkey, ham, corned beef, Rubens, and hoagie. People just, just gather to them and, you know, before a UT ball game, that's where you would be. You'd be on Cumberland Avenue eating a steam sandwich for a ball game. That is just a tradition. And it's the, the support from the community, no matter which where we are, has just been tremendous. And you know, everybody comes in here are friends, and, and you know, we know. We, if, if you get a sandwich, if you like a roast beef and smoked cheddar, that's pretty much what you stick with. If you walk in the door, we'll, we'll probably recognize that. If you've never had one, it's, it's definitely an experience. It's a southern thing, but it's an experience. So if you want to experience the southern staple for yourself, Come check out Sam and Andy's Fountain City. They are open every day. But in the meantime, I'm going to try out my first steam sandwich. Definitely gets the Alante Walker seal of approval. Reporting in Fountain City, Alante Walker for Living East, Tennessee.